today I'm making my new favorite condiment, pickled onions. Have you ever tried them? Well, I tried them about a week ago and I just kind of fell in love with them. I'm not a person that likes raw onions, so if you don't like raw onions, like you know when you see them on your sandwich or your salad or your taco or whatever, I am definitely picking those raw onions off. But people have been talking about this pickled onion thing and I'm like, okay, let me give it a go. They say it's not pungent, it's flavorful, it's, they're crispy, crunchy, you know, they're just delicious. So I gave it a go and I tell you, I have to share it with you. So I'm gonna to put together a couple of different flavors for you. I'm gonna do more of a basic one with some apple cider vinegar, and then I'm gonna do another one with a different vinegar and some different spices, just to show you, you know, give you some ideas. And then of course I want to hear from you what you might wanna use down in the comments below. So leave me a message down there. Anyway, I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs and how to do this right after this. Let's start off with our chef joke. So where did the onion go to have a few drinks? The salad bar. <laughs> so let's talk about our ingredients. I'm gonna be using a red onion. Now, why do we wanna use a red onion? Well, you could use a yellow onion, but the red onion's nice because, well, I made this a couple of days ago. Look how vibrantly red this is from using a red onion. So what that does is it gives your food a pop when you add this to your sandwich or your salad. I mean, it really visually just makes it come alive. Our next ingredient is some kind of vinegar. I'm using apple cider because I love the flavor. It works really well. Uh, you could use white vinegar, red wine vinegar, pretty much anything. I haven't tried balsamic yet, and that would be interesting to try. So feel free to use any vinegar you want. And then you wanna use some sort of sweetener to balance out the acid. So you can use regular white sugar, but of course I'm not doing that. I'm gonna use maple syrup. You could also use honey, coconut sugar, anything that works for you. Your next basic ingredient is a little bit of salt. So I'm using a little bit of salt, and then my other flavoring in this basic recipe is just some peppercorns. Now when slicing your onion, you wanna make sure that you slice it very thin. You want it to be between one eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch thick and no more. And the reason for that is because if you cut it too thick, all the spices and the vinegar can't penetrate into the onion and you're not gonna get the best result. So you wanna cut off the ends. Cut the onion in half, peel off the skin, and you're gonna to wanna to thinly slice here. So thin is for the win. I'm gonna place these onions into a pot of water here, and we're gonna put this on the stove, bring it to a boil, and then once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna lower the temperature and cook it for like one minute. We're basically blanching the onion. All right, these onions are just starting to boil. You can see a little bubbles coming up. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, set the timer for one minute, and then we're gonna take them out. All right, one minute's up. I have a strainer here in a bowl, and I'm just gonna place them right into it. While we're waiting for our onions to cool back there, I thought I heard uh, an onion singing a Bee Gees song but it turns out it was just a chive talking. <laughs> Once the onions are cooled, we can place them into our mason jar. And I've got two here, of course, for two different recipes, so we're gonna fill them both up. And trust me, these don't last too long in my house, I tell you, they, they go quick. They've been discovered and now they are a favorite. Now what I have here is I have a I have about a half a cup of water, and I'm gonna mix in a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna to toss in a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm gonna add my maple syrup, about a tablespoon. You can play around with this, you know, add a little more, maybe a little less, depending on how you like it. So give this a good stir. I'm gonna add some peppercorns to that. You want to stir this until it's all dissolved, the sugar and the, uh, whatever sugar you're using and the salt is dissolved in. And you can even give it a taste at this point. If you found out that you added too much sugar and it's too sweet for you, add a little more vinegar. That is good, it's got a nice zip to it. So then we'll just pour that right in. So that's our first jar. Now we'll work on the second batch. So for our second batch, I'm gonna be using some pear raspberry vinegar. 
and I've never used this before and boy does it smell good. So I'm going to use a little bit stronger ratio of vinegar to water. So I'm going to add about a half a cup of vinegar to about a quarter of a cup of water. This vinegar just doesn't seem to be as strong as the apple cider vinegar. Now you can use any ratio that you want. In fact, you can use all vinegar if you wish. Now we'll go in with our maple syrup. That's what I like to use because the flavor's good. And we'll need to go in with a little salt. Our flavoring for this is going to be some fresh garlic and fresh rosemary. So trim off the end of your garlic, smash it down a bit, and then the peel comes right off. And I would love it if you would smash the like button just like this garlic. We'll stir up the vinegar mixture and then pour it right into our onions along with the garlic and rosemary. Notice I'm only using a very small piece of fresh rosemary because it is very strong. Seal up your jars and place them in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Overnight is best. I like to put the date on them so that I know how old they are and these will keep and be good for two to three weeks. I pulled my onions out of the refrigerator and they've only been in there about an hour and I wanted to show you that they are ready early but the flavors don't develop completely for, you know, certainly overnight. Our first batch here, the one that I made two days ago, is very vibrant and red as you can see and the flavors are more intense. So here's the new batch we just made of the same flavor. And you can see the color is not nearly as intense, but it will get there after a couple of days of, you know, just marinating. Now here's our third batch with the pear raspberry vinaigrette with the garlic and the rosemary, and it is amazing. I don't know if you can hear the crunch, but these do not get soggy. That is flavorful. It's got some tang to it. It's got a little hint of sweetness. Very, very delicious. We've been eating it. We love it. So I, I really want to encourage you to try some of these specialty vinegars that have little fruit flavors. So very good. I've got a great recipe for you to try these pickled onions on. It's my black bean burger recipe. And I'm going to leave a link for you right over here. Click that. Go check it out. Make those black bean burgers and add this to them. It is going to just take it to the next level. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me share this video by smashing the like button. All right, we'll see you next time.